We're about to go antique shopping. That's going on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what do we think of this guy? It's so cute, but you like, like it's that? very green. It goes back so much further than I expected it to. I love that. That is gorgeous. Imagine just putting them in this and putting that in your fridge. Cheers. This is the, the thing that I was most excited for. I am in one of our two guest bedrooms right now with mom. We're doing some measurements. We're about to go antique shopping to see if we can't find some decor. We specifically need artwork. We're good on furniture in here. We do actually need a dresser to replace this one right here. We're actually looking for furniture downstairs too. Uh, artwork is pretty much all the, and like just decor, general decor and stuff in here so that we can get this guest bedroom um, looking good again. We also need to get curtains for in here. We had nice ones, but they were, they were too long. So we are just measuring to get, it should be eight foot ceilings, mom. Yeah, so this is like, is there like a standard? Cause this one's like 95. We want artwork for above the bed and probably above that dresser too, right mom? So we're measuring above there. So what is that length? This is 43 or height. inches. 43, 43 inches. Yeah, I would really like to make, like again, like a little small um, desk situation. Oh, desk okay. Desk situation, yeah, and of course art for there. Okay, so let's get the width over here. So probably just like centered above the bed a bit. So maximum, I would say 49. Let's say 50 say then. 50. Maximum yeah. 50. All right, I think we got the measurements we need then. So there are two dressers in here, but we are actually gonna be doing different furniture here because if you saw my other vlog, these two dressers I refinished for selling. This one's actually sold, waiting to be transported, and then this one's still waiting to sell. So we do have, we plan on getting furniture to replace with it, but that's in here for now. It is a bit rainy out today, but we are just gonna try and make the best of it. I need to put my hood on, but I'm holding my water. Oh no. to get bedding from Target. There's a lot of really beautiful um, new bedding out with the McGee & Co line that I really wanna go see. So we will see what works out in terms of bedding, but we are stopping quick to do home beds. I'm getting a replacement for my egg thing. I love these and I put this one, mine in the dishwasher and it went all like crooked. So now I know not to put it in the dishwasher. Then the hard way. Oh, That's going on the internet. <laughs> There's no duvet covers. All right, so we might have to go to Target like I wanted. Yay. <laughs> We're just gonna look at the art real quick while we're here. I would like vintage art, but we're here. Might as well look and see if there's something we can't live without. This is the framing style I was trying to yeah. explain to you the other day. I do like them framed like that. Too bad the picture inside isn't more a better color scheme. Yeah. What do you think of those? I like the bed. They're not the exact same, but you know, they're obviously matching. Yeah. But even this one right here, mom, is that too big? That one's too big. I like the color palette of that mm. one. It's a lot of abstract I like again. That one better than that. Yeah, do we even want to go abstract? No. Oh, well then those are no then, I guess. <laughs> so we didn't get anything today besides my mom's little egg container. But I wanted to mention like, we go to home goods so often because it's like our only option really in town for home decor besides like kohl's and walmart we have to travel to go to like a target or most other like home decor stores but we do have a lot of like local antique stores and a couple thrift shops so that's where we're headed next Mm -hmm. 
these platters. Do you like them? There's a small one and a big one. I, I wish I liked the blue. Me I'm more too. of like a I'm green a, person. Not a blue person. But How much are they? 20 bucks for both. Nice. This is really nice. I love hanging stuff like this, like above artwork. It's pretty. Cute little brass guy. It's 20% off of the price there. It's got quite the patina there. What did you find? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the cutest gravy bowl, but it's attached. That puts me off. I like it to be separate. Okay. Then you can use this little plate for hors d'oeuvres, you know? Yeah. Multi use instead of just the one. Yeah. Listen, what do we think of this guy? It's so cute, but like, like it's that? very green. <laughs> I'll, green. I'll be able to get that off, Cop right? Yeah, copper patina. It's cute. Look yeah. at it. Eight bucks. Just a little guy. A little Plus guy. 20% off it? of the eight. Yeah. But I mean, I live for brass guys, but like it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. I mean, we need something for the guest bedroom. Oh my gosh, look at that. I, like I love that. that. You like that? That is very yeah, cute. Look at the art. And there's one above it that matches too. I love that. This guy's cute. Tiny little chest. I wonder how much that is. Don't see a price. Oh, it's not for sale. But if you really wanted to buy it, you could have it for 300. Look at how cute this is. Mm. Little postcard. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's actually addressed, but that's such a pretty picture. Oh my god, and it's Newton. Mm -hmm. That's um the town we lived in for many years. We live like next to that town now. It goes back so much further than I expected it to. Lots to see here. Wow, look at this really great brass umbrella stand. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Are you kidding? Does it not seem vintage? It's 40 bucks. And mom's thinking not vintage, but like it is so pretty. Can you hold it so we can see the whole length? Yeah. Definitely Look at the vintage, but very pretty. I love that. Actually, uh, wouldn't your umbrellas fall through the bottom there? Well, you could put, probably put something there, like a little. I love that. Yeah, that would look so stunning in a foyer, in an entryway. Is there like discount here? Or what? Twenty percent off. Aren't these lights pretty cool? For more of like an industrial look. This little guy is cute too. Books are fun because you can kind of pick, try and find ones that work with your color palette and scheme and use them shelf styling because I mean you can pretty much find most colors that you're looking for. This guy's kind of precious too. Just a tiny little piece of art. And then this guy kind of matches it. This frame is unique with this kind of like floral design around the perimeter of the frame. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You're looking for a platter. I really like the texture on that one. Mm -hmm. I love the shape and the texture of that a lot. Mm. And we can get a cleaner with barkeepers. Yeah. Framed, right? 25 bucks, at least. It's ironstone. 20% off. Ironstone. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe. Um, maybe. I'm thinking maybe I need to have it. You're having it? And this guy. <laughs> look at this stoneware bowl. That's not too crazy about it's what just I'm so doing. cute. A little berry bowl. Yeah. If you got like blueberries or raspberries, instead of keeping them in the little plastic container that they come in from the store, imagine just putting them in this and putting that in your fridge. Very cute. These are also so cute. I love dishware. These are so tiny. I don't know what I would use those for. They're so cute. And look at this, mom. Just the tiniest little platter. Oh my gosh. It's How many? So cute. Just one. Just one. My mom and I love serving oh platters like this.
actually use a little mirror up on my dresser all the time to get ready with. And like, this is really pretty. It's 50 bucks. 50 less 20, less 30. Kala, this booth. It's really pretty. That is cute. I don't think this is going to be the one for me today, but I would love, love, love an old brass like doorstop. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm in love with this kitten. He looks a little angry. Yeah. <laughs> But like, I would definitely want a brass or like a cast iron or something like a really cool doorstop like that. These are very popular to sell on Etsy. <laughs> How much is this one? This one's 80 bucks. Well, she's solid in brass, so it's not surprising. Look at the face on this cat. Not today, but I hope you find an amazing home. I love antique trivets like this. I've never seen one like this. This is clearly like a... What are those called? Like a monogram? When it's somebody's initials? It doesn't say on there. So I don't know if I'm saying monogram right. I think I am. Ten bucks for this guy? That's like really very pretty. Because not only is it pretty to like maybe hang up on your wall or something, but it's obviously practical and useful too because you can put your hot pots on it to protect your tables. I already checked out. I missed this little back room. So I'm just looking at that real quick. But we're actually going to I got some things, clearly. My mom's checking out. And uh, we're gonna go across the st street because there are a couple more shops, see what else we can find. That is gorgeous. And the frame and everything. Really, really pretty. The bed is really nice, look at that. It's sold. artwork that we wanted to buy today we saw a lot of nice things but I mean artwork is so specific like one mom and I we both have to like it you normally find it when you're not looking for it yeah and garage sale season is literally starting very soon so we'll be able to look there too I don't know but we need to get the guest bedroom going but anyway we did find some things we'll find stuff at Target too right, right. yeah it doesn't have to be vintage but we thought we would try for vintage but we did find some really great stuff that I'm very excited to share with you that were that was definitely not on the list for today but no regrets very happy with my purchases and the sun is peeking out now which is really nice um, but we are headed to lunch Super excited to share with you what we ended up getting. I think we pretty much only made purchases at the very first antique store that we were at. So this is my mom's haul. She and rude. She ended up getting this platter set that we saw like right when we arrived. She didn't. Ooh. <laughs> She didn't take it at first. We walked around the whole perimeter of the antique store and then at the very end she went back for them because this one is much bigger than any of the platters that we do have. So she liked that. And then this one is much smaller than any of the platters that we have. So she doesn't usually go for blue. Oh my. <sighs> She's not gonna love to see how many times I smack those into each other. Sorry about that. And then I did end up getting this little guy. It does have a lot of this like green patina situation happening, which I will try and get off. Um, or I could just put it towards the back and then you like half don't even know. But I just like really loved all the detail and the lid. I just thought it was really cute. It was like $8 plus 20% off. Me and Brass, I'm obsessed. And then I got this. I couldn't pass up this iron stone platter. Uh, it does have an ironstone mark on the back of it, but I just love, love, love the shape 
of the corners cut out like that and this like little rib detail around here. We have a lot of serving um, like vintage and antique serving platters. We use them quite a bit, just like with weeknight dinners. Like last night, my husband made chicken skewers and when they came off the grill, they went onto one of our platters. So it's just like, they're very practical. We use them all the time. I have about four or maybe five in my collection. And I really love this one, so I couldn't pass it up. And I don't even think I have one that's just like plain white. Almost all of my other platters have like gold or some sort of detail. And But this is the, the thing that I was most excited for. I could not pass up this mirror. I just love it. I just feel like you don't see that every day, you know, like the, like the pretty detail of the feet. And I use a mirror like this every single day to get ready. So let's go put it on my dresser and I will show you where I'm gonna be using it. So when I get ready, I use this little mirror to do my hair and makeup. Obviously I have a mirror here, but it's just like nicer to get a little bit closer. And so this one is older. It's from like Bed Bath & Beyond and it used to be like a blue color and I made it gold myself. But like, can we just, I mean, <sighs> How much more how much better is this like just look at it what an upgrade I'm so excited about this mirror look at all the pretty detail I'm so excited to have a real brass mirror because you know how I feel about brass I mean if you've been around for any sort of time I mean look at it brass I mean that's not like real brass but gold 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 <laughs> okay maybe I have a lot of brass that's I think brass 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 gold um, lamps. That's a gold mirror. Like I am overdoing it. We know this, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So I'm super excited to have a real brass mirror. Look at it. So we still need decor and artwork and bedding for the room across from me. We literally didn't find anything that we were looking for. <laughs> So I'm not stressed. Um, we'll figure it out, but I am excited to get that room all put together. But I hope you enjoyed coming antique shopping with us today and look forward to garage sale season because I'm literally gonna vlog every single garage sale, garage sale that we attend because I love garage sales. I cannot wait. Look at it. Look at it. Ugh. Very happy. You know how you, you just sometimes you regret not going, like not getting something? I never have to regret because I went ahead and got it and I have zero regrets.